Hi, I'm Mira from Flow with Mira. Today's class is about Pilates for strong legs. We're going to work and strengthen our legs muscles with Pilates based exercises. So let's begin the class. We're going to start the class with some standing um, exercises. So let's find our parallel stance. So half your feet hip width distance apart, approximately about a fist between your heels. I'm going to stand facing diagonally here. So arms long by the side, slightly softening on the knees. Take an in breath. Now as we exhale, allow the chin to tip down towards the chest and articulate the spine down. Try to keep the spine in flexion as long as you can. Arms in a, and dangling by the side. And then go ahead and tip the pelvis forward. Take your body closer to the floor. Inhale. Now as we exhale, we're going to lift the abdominal muscles and allow the spine to stack up, starting with the pelvis and then the lower spine, the middle spine, upper spine, shoulder, neck, and the head. Again, two more times in breath. As exhale, excuse me, as we roll our spine down, we articulate down to the floor, stay in flexion as much as you can, deep flexion in the spine, inhale. Exhale, pressing the feet down, grounding the feet as we roll the spine up, stacking up the spine, coming up to a beautiful long, alignment. Last one here. Exhale, we roll down all the way down to the floor. We inhale the bottom. We exhale. We're just going to roll up halfway. So softening the knees here. Now, once you meet halfway, place your hands on your thigh. Here, you are in a flex spine position. Now, we're going to elongate the spine, send the sitting bone away from the spine, arch the upper back, bring your eyes with you, and exhale. We round the spine again, taking our spine into a flexion. Inhale. So, we are doing some sort of a cat stretch here in a standing position. Exhale. Just warming up the spine, mobilizing the bones. Inhale, we lengthen. Exhale, we round. Two more times. Inhale, arching the upper back. Exhale, rounding the spine. Last one here. Inhale, arching. Exhale, we round. And stay in the flexion for a moment and take an in-breath here. Exhale, let's roll the spine up all the way to a standing position. Okay, now arms out to the side. Slight bend on the knees here. Take your left arm up to the ceiling, right arm down. Reach up to the sky and side bending yourself over to your right. Stretching the left side of the body. And bring your body up right, arms out to the T. And the other arms up. And stretching over to your left, which is my right. And arms out to the T position. Let's do it again. Left arm up. And side bend over to your right. Ground the feet down. Lift the pelvic floor. Hold your center tightly here. And center. Again, one last one. Reach up. And side bend over to the left, ground the feet, hold the center tightly here, and back to the T position, and we stay here. Now, I'd like you to keep your pelvis nice and stable. Double breath to your right with twist. <laughs> Inhale, center, and left. <laughs> center, and right. <laughs> and left. And also have your hands on your hip if you like. One more each side. Last one. Come back to center. Straighten the legs and let it go. Okay, now we're going to move on to a standing footwork. So interlacing the hands behind the head. This exercise is normally done on the Pilates equipment, but we're going to transfer it to the mat here. So we have our feet parallel here. Lifting tall in the spine, interlacing the hands behind the head. You're also welcome to have your hands on your hip if you like. Now from here, 
We're going to inhale, we bend the knees. I want you to hold the center, the knees are pointing forward over your toes. Exhale, inhale, maintain the parallel alignment of the legs. Exhale, now as you go down, our spine stays nice and upright. Exhale, so we maintain the vertical alignment of the spine. Inhale, exhale, and three more. And two. And one. Now let's go down again. We're going to do a little pulses here. So we start with the bent knee position and then we're going to come up in breath. Three more. Last one. And extend all the way out and release. Now from here, we're going to rise up onto the ball of your feet. So stay in parallel still. Now stabilize your ankles. We'll do it again. Inhale, we bend the knees. Exhale. Inhale, hold the center tight. Maintain the vertical alignment of the spine as we bend and stretch the knees. Again. And four more. Three, two, one. We go down and do little pulses again, and we go. Find your balance. Three more set. Two, last. And extend all the way out and then release down. Bring your feet in a V position. Now rise up to the ball of your feet as well. Now I like you to really squeeze the heels together nice and tight. And we go inhale again. Exhale. And two. So we're going to do eight in its position. I didn't mention that before. Apology. And four more. Five. Six, seven, last eight here. We go halfway down and we pulse. Find your balance. Three, last set. Extend all the way out and lower the heels. Let's have your heels slightly wider than your pelvis or maybe about pelvis width apart. And you can take your arms out to the side here. So we are in an open V, open v position and we go down, making sure that the rotation of the hip is equal with the rotation of your feet. And extend, in breath. Exhale, again. Three more. Vertical alignment of the spine here. Two more. Last one. We go down and pulses. Three more set. Last set. Exhale all the way out. Now shuffle the legs in a little bit. Keep the external rotation. Rise up to the ball of your feet. And let's do it again. In breath. And two. Hold the center tight. Three more. Two. Last and pulses. Two more set. Last set. 
Exhale all the way out and rise and lower the heels down. Now go back to parallel feet position. You can have your arm crossed here or you can have your hands on the side of your pelvis, on the hips joint. Now rise up onto the ball of your feet here. Now find your balance. We're going to lower the heels down and we lift and lower. As you rise up onto the ball of your feet, I like you to spread your toes down on the floor. And as you go down, resist the heels lowering down. And, and resist. And, and resist. And, and resist. Five more. Up. And resist. And four. And three. And two. And last. And now rise up high, hands on the hips. Lower the right heel down, left knee bent. And rise up and change. So you're prancing. So hold the center lower. Watch the placement of the pelvis, making sure they're staying square in the middle. So we don't want any swaying pelvis positioned as you lower and lift the heels. Stabilize the center and down. We lift and lower, lift and lower. Three more set. Two more set. And last one here. And rise up and lower. Well done. Now place your left, sorry, your left heel down. Take your right leg up to tabletop. You can have your hands on your hip here. Now we're going to do single leg. We bend the knee and we rise up. We bend and we rise up. Find your balance. Make sure the knee alignment is right over your foot. Again. Now, if you like a bit more challenge, you can also extend the leg and we bend. Extend the leg and we bend. We extend, we bend. We extend, we bend. Three more out, we bend. Two more out, we bend. Last one out, we bend. Straight turn the leg and take it down. Switch over, please. Let's take the other leg up to tabletop and find your balance. And we go. We extend. We down. We extend. And down. Now we can also extend the leg as we bend. Extend both leg and down. This is just a variation if you like a little bit more challenge for the work today. And you don't have to do this. Just can keep the legs bent all the time. And two more. Last one. And straighten and lower. We go back to your left leg down. Bring. Now here I like you to straighten the right leg out as you bend the left knee forward. Now hold that position. I like you to keep your body still up in upright alignment. Hold on the hips joint and from here we're going to lift. And up. And three. Let's do ten. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Bring it in and straighten the leg. Let's go to the other side. And bending the right knee, slide the left leg out, stay vertical, and we lift. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Bring it in, straighten the leg, well done. Now I'd like you to have your legs in external rotation here. Have your feet wider than your pelvis. Arms out to the side. Now from here, I want you to go into a deep, deep plie. So again, keep the body in vertical alignment and rise up. Let's do three more of this. So deep plie, actually rotate your thighs and rise up. And then deep plie and rise up. Two more, down and rise. Last one, down and rise up. Now let's go down again. Now swing your left arm down and then turn your body to your right. You go into a little parallel lunge here and then swing it back, go back to the plie. And then the other side and swing it back, 
to the plie. And again, side, and an out, plie. And again, side, and an out, plie. And again, and an out. Making sure your pelvis doesn't stick out. You wanna keep that vertical alignment. So curl the bum under a tight, uh, tiny bit, and then bring it up. Again, one more side, and then bring it up. And then here, and then bring it out. Let's go back to the first side again. Let's stay here, little pulses here. So we come up, in breath. Three more set. Two, last, and open. Another side, no break. Let's go. We go up. Three more set. Two. Last. And open to the plie and rise up. Walk your feet in. Well done. Shake your leg. Good job. Okay, let's come to the front of your mat. We're gonna do another roll down and then we're gonna transition ourselves to the floor. So arms down by the side, take an in breath. Exhale, let's go ahead and roll the spine down all the way to the floor. Soften your knees if you need to. Hands onto the floor, bend the knees and hands behind the bottom. Sit the pelvis down, feet forward. Move your feet forward a little bit. Lift the spine up, rounding the back, and let's go ahead and roll back to the floor. Arms down by the side, bring your feet closer towards the bottom, and rest your head down. Okay, making sure that your feet are in parallel position and hip width distance apart. Okay, pelvic curl, we're in breath. Exhale, using the abdominal to imprint the back down, the lower back down to the floor, and then articulating the spine up to your bridging position. Pressing the two end of the shoulders down, spreading the toes down on the floor, and exhale, we roll back down. Coming back to that neutral pelvis and spine position again. We exhale, deep flexion, with the abdominals and rolling up. Now, as you roll up, you really see you want to recruit your abdominals and you do not want to push up with your back. Okay, use your hamstrings, use your glutes, engage the inner thighs so your knees do not splat out to the side. And we roll back, back, all the way down to the floor. Let's go two more times here. We exhale, we roll up. Right up to the bridging position, pressing, pressing the two end of the shoulders down, reaching the arms long. Exhale, we come down and release. Now the next time we're going to stay up. Exhale, we roll up again, pressing the feet in the thighs engage. Now we stay, dorsiflex the feet, heels are down, toes and feet up. Stay there for five, four, three, two, one, feet come back, and then plant a flex. Rise up onto your heel, onto the ball of your feet, lift the heels up, the pelvis is still, the pelvis is still high. Hold that for five, four, three, two, one. Lower the heels down, and dorsiflex, hold the pelvis up. Stay for five, four, three, two, one. One, and feet down, rise up to plantar flexed, and stay, five, four, three, two, one, and heels down. One more set, dorsiflex, toes up, five, four, three, two, one, feet down, rise up, hold, five, four, three, two, one, heels down, hold that on inhale, as we exhale, we articulate the spine back down to the floor and release. And now we continue, we in breath. Exhale, we roll up again to the pelvic curl. We hold that bridging position. Anchor your left foot, take the right leg up to tabletop for the shoulder bridge prep. We take it down, we up, take it down, and up. On three, let's do eight, 
on four, on five, six, seven, eight. Hold up, roll down the spine. And we roll up again. We're not done yet. And we roll down again. And we roll up again. Two more times. Roll down. And roll up. One more. Roll down. And roll up. Take the right foot down. Reestablish the pelvis position. Press the right foot down, left leg up to tabletop. And again, tap. Up. Four, eight. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Hold up there. We roll the spine down. And roll up again. We roll down. And roll up. Two more, roll down, roll up, last one here, I know your thighs is burning, and hold it up, take the foot down, reestablish the pelvis position, and we roll the spine back to the neutral spine and neutral pelvis, well done, straighten the left leg down, take the right leg up to tabletop, straighten up, dorsiflex the foot, all right, let's go to leg circle. Across the body, down. Exhale, stay parallel, inhale. Exhale, stabilize the pelvis, inhale. Exhale, last set. Exhale, hold, reverse. Out, down, in. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, in breath. Exhale, two more. Exhale. Last set. Exhale. Stay. Point the foot. Hold the center. Can we do this? Scissors leg. Boom. Switch. Dorsiflex. The top leg. Let's go across the body. Down. Exhale. Stay parallel. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last set. Stay the other way. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Last one here. We stay, point, and then we lower down. Excellent. Let's bring the feet in. Half your feet at the edge of the mat. Open your arms up to a T position. Let's drop the knees towards me, which is my right. As we inhale for the hip rolls. And exhale. Inhale, the twist. Exhale, center. Inhale, drop it. Exhale, recruit your obliques to bring the legs back to center. And we twist. Recruit your oblique, bring the legs back to center. And twist. Exhale. And drop. One more side and drop last one drop okay walk your feet back to the middle one leg up to tabletop second leg up joining the tabletop without jolting the belly okay squeeze the thighs together for the spine twist the spine let's go to the right as we inhale exhale again we're moving or we're rotating from the waistline Keeping the legs together. Exhale. In breath. Exhale. In breath. In breath. One more each side here. Last one. Well done. Lower one foot down. Second leg down, and let's turn the body facing me. So we are going to do our clamps and our side kick. We're going to do a little different here. So I'm going to give you two options. Forearm down on the floor, elbow and your shoulder in one alignment. I like you to recruit your bottom oblique so we're not swaying down or hanging down in our waistline. Lift up, hand behind here, or on floor. Now, the option that I'm going to do is I'm going to lift my hips up. 
And I'm going to do the clamp here. If this is too challenging for you today, please go ahead and do it with the hip down. Okay, so you're absolutely welcome to do this. All right, so I'm going to lift my pelvis up. <sighs> Hold that, okay? Now we open the leg and we close. Let's do 10 here. This is number two. And down, and three, and down, and four, five, six, seven, eight, Feet are together, four, not four, that was nine, ten. Terrible counting, stay. Extend the top leg long. Again, you're welcome to drop the pelvis down here. Dorsiflex the foot, let's go kick forward. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and now. On five, six, Seven, eight, nine, last ten, back, back, center, bend the knee, lower the knee, release the pelvis down, a quick side stretch, and release, other side. Okay, aligned elbow, shoulder, forearm down, Lift the arch of the waistline, hands behind here or on the floor. Have your bottom down or lift it like I'm doing. We lift, if you're following me. Feet are together. We open for 10. And two. And three. And four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, well done. Now extend the leg long for the side kick dorsiflex. We go. Three, four, five, six, seven. Last two, and a ten. Center, bend the knee, knee down, hip down, and a quick side stretch, and release. All right, let's go into our front. I'd like you to have a diamond press arm, so stack the palm of the hands, elbows wide. Now, you're going to recruit your back extensors in the upper back. Draw the shoulder blades and lift the abdominal, neck is long. Now from here, your legs are long behind you. Now pull up the lower abs. I don't want you to sink in the lower back like a hammock, but lengthen the lower back to your tailbone. Engage your leg muscles. Now right leg will lift for hip extension. And down, left one, lift. And down. So this is kind of like a modified swimming. So we're working on the hip extensors, our hamstrings, and our glute muscles. And lift, right, down, left, and down. Our back extensors are also active. So we do not want a round back here, but we want an extended, proud, open front chest. And a long neck. Gaze is down to the floor. And the left, lift. And one which side, right. Last one, left. Now here, squeeze those legs tight. Bring both legs off the floor into your hip extension. extension. Now, double kick. Reach the leg along. Again, double kick. Inhale, reach the legs along. And so a modified double leg kick from a traditional Pilates exercise. And inhale, reach. As you extend the knees, I like you to pull the lower abs off the floor. And your thighs are always floating off the floor. Three more. Inhale, reach. Two more. Inner thighs are tight together. Last one. Inhale, reach. Hold that for five, four, three, two, one. Well done. 
Okay, bring the forearm to the side of the shoulder. Use your abdominal, push the floor away around your back to your rest position. Okay, and just stay here for a moment. We just have our up stretch with a prancing leg and then we'll finish up with a roll up. Okay, now tuck your toes under, lift the pelvis up. So that pyramid position. All right, I'd like you to push the floor away with the hands, lengthen the tailbone, the sitting bone away. Neck is long, pressing the armpit down to the floor. And I like you to just drop the heels down. Have a little pick to your feet. Make sure they are in parallel position. And just stay here for a moment. So we're just enjoying the stretch in the posterior chain of the body. And then from here, let's add some prancing. We're going to bend the right knee. Let the left heel sink down to the floor. And then we switch. Right heel down, left heel up, and switch. And strong arm actively pushing the floor away. The abdominal is actually lifting the pelvis, suspending it towards the sky. And the heels are resisting down to the floor against the gravity. And lifting and switching, lifting and switching. Lifting and switching, one which side here. All right, rise up on both heels, lower both heels down, walk your feet towards your hands. Walk it, walk it, walk them, walk them. And then come back to that parallel position or neat parallel feet position. Allow the body to dangle, softening the knees, allow the gravity to do its job. Ah, inhale at the bottom, and let's exhale, we roll the spine up, articulating all the way to your standing position, open chest, long neck, suspended head, take one long inhalation with me, exhale, brilliant. Well done, thank you for joining me. I wish you a lovely day. Take care. Congratulations on completing the class, well done. I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to look and feel your absolute best. If you enjoyed this video, click the first link in the comments and sign up. I will instantly send you my favorite Pilates for total strong body, members only workout. This workout will open, stretch and strengthen your entire body. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe so you don't miss any of my free videos. See you in the next class.